All right. Good afternoon. It's Thursday. <clears throat> um, I'm just found a, a quiet place really quick. I'm in Austin today. So I <clears throat> um, wanted to jump on. Uh, we'll spend 10 or 15 minutes. I had some really interesting conversations this morning um, that I think are relevant for this topic that we're going to talk about today. And it's how do we get more customers? Every business wants to get more customers. Every business wants to grow. Every business wants to engage customers better. <clears throat> um, it's it's really hard though. They just don't know how, and so sometimes we take the 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 road that is the easiest, which is continuing to spend money on advertising versus. Um, and that, that's not a good. That's not a bad thing, <clears throat> but um, what does it turn into for your business? So we were talking about this. Um, I had this meeting this morning, and we were talking about um, opportunities that business owners miss out on all the all the time to interact and engage with customers or potential customers. And um, in this particular instance, um, it was an event that um, this individual had gone to, and um, like was able to talk to. 10 or 15 people <clears throat> but there were hundreds there and um, she's really wondering how do I connect with more of those people how can I get more of those people um, connecting with me how can I automate this process <clears throat> and so what I want to talk about today is how do we get more how do we get more customers and what can we utilize today because we all live in a physical world and we talked about this last week this physical world is not going away I don't care what technology is out there. I don't care what the the um, what companies call themselves. I mean, you can go from Facebook to Meta. Um, the, we still live in a physical world, and if you can, if you're a business that needs customers in this physical world, then um, then today um, I want you to pay attention because there's a couple of things that we're going to talk about um, that will enable you to be different. Every single day, your business has opportunities. And so this individual I was talking to this morning went to this event. There's hundreds of people there. She connected with 10 or 15 of them. Um, and she's like, dang, I could have taken that opportunity to um, maybe give something away. So and and utilize, in this case, utilizing the Freshline QR code as as a way that people could actually register with that to get whatever those whatever they were going to give away a $200 gift card or something like that right and so it would have taken the multi, it would have given her the multiplying effect of talking to 10 or 15 people and maybe getting another 20 or 30 or 40 or 50 opportunities to talk to others from exactly the same event without bringing more people without spending a lot of extra resources without doing anything magical um, it would in, it would open up those those opportunities and we see this every single day um, we see this every single day with our customers um, they're walking away from sales opportunities just because the customers not ready and I think the data is really important to think about that um, at any given point there's only a small fraction of consumers that are going to be ready for your product. It's not that everyone needs solar today. It's not that everyone needs pest control today. It's not that everyone needs to wash their car today. It's not that everyone needs to get their oil changed today. It's not that we have to buy groceries today or buy gas today. Um, not everybody's ready for your product and so why would, why would you walk away from that opportunity when you can capture that opportunity for future sales, for future opportunities, for future um, engagement. And um, we talk about this a lot in how I really grow my customer base today is first thing, looking at what I, my current assets are and how I can utilize those current assets to drive more value for my business. And, um, and we do this sometimes when we go to events is we're not going to be able to talk to every single person at the event. So we want to maximize our exposure though at the event. And so we may do a giveaway, we might find some partners there, um, but we make it really, really easy for the attendees, in this case the consumers, 
to engage with our brand in one way or another. And so that gives us the multiplying effect instead of getting 25 or 50 or 100 leads, you may get 200 leads or 300 or 400 out of the same opportunity. When we think about, we've talked about this a lot in the last couple of months, um, the door to door space or the direct selling space, um, there's opportunities every day. So someone walks into a showroom um, and is not ready to buy a car today, they're just looking or they walk into a furniture store and they're just and they're just looking or um, someone knocks on our door and and has a deal on pest control. We may not be ready that day. We may not be, the customer may not be ready right then, but why not give them the opportunity to at least start engaging your brand? And those are the opportunities that we that we help um, customers foster, businesses foster. Um, but you have to take the first step. You can't just hope that when they need something this this whatever you're selling in the future, that they're going to automatically come back to you. I don't care if they're a customer or they're not a customer in the past. They're probably, I don't care who the brand is, they're probably not likely to think about you when they when they get ready for that purchasing process unless you've done something to stand out, unless you're doing something to stay in front of them, unless you're doing something to um, be different in their minds, they're going to go do a Google search and say, I need pest control. and first thing things will pop up and whatever the case might be I mean the the consumers are going to go through and utilize the technology in front of them even though that's a physical world um, scenario and so I think it's really important to think about that physical world scenario and getting back to kind of direct sales um, and it doesn't really matter if it's if you're selling solar or you're selling vitamins um, you have opportunities where you're talking to customers or you're in front of customers or you're at a customer's house or you're in front of a customer at the grocery store. There's lots of opportunities where you're you're there in front of a potential customer, yet um, we walk away from those opportunities every day and it's costing businesses billions and billions and billions of dollars. And so what's happening to those billions of dollars, we're spending them, we're making up for that, ben, that that aspect and we're going and spending money on advertising in the marketplaces to get customers in the door when the customer is already at our door or we're at their door and we walked away from that. And so I want, so what our platform does is our platform helps you gives you the framework and gives you the platform to take advantage of those opportunities when you're in front of the customer or when the customer's in front of you. Um, whether they come into your store or they don't come in your store, or whether they knock, you knock on their door, whatever the case might be, there's an opportunity there where your physical presence is in the same place. And so that's where we want to think about is everywhere where there's a physical presence between you and your potential customer, we want to take that opportunity to put a stake in the ground and to start a relationship. And the relationship may be nothing more than, um, can I send you some information about our product? Or can I give you a free quote? Or can I do this? Or can I do that? It's gonna be something that you're going to do as a business um, that's gonna offer benefit to the customer. Customers are not just going to willy nilly give you whatever information just because you want it, but give them something of benefit. Give them a free quote, give them um, free analysis, give them free sampling, whatever it is. I mean, give them something that they can actually utilize that's a value to them. I'll give you a really good example. Um, going into a restaurant, they have a little QR code there. I scan it. Um, this happened a few days ago in, um, California Pizza Kitchen. I scan it, it takes me to the menu. What a missed opportunity. There was, there was myself and there's hundreds of other customers that go into um, this store on a, on a daily, weekly basis. Those are opportunities where rather than scanning that and taking me directly to the menu, why not say, hey, um, do you want a free drink today? Do you want a free appetizer today? Do you want $5 off today? sure, I want $5 off. What do I need to do? Give them, give them my name and give them my, my email address or whatever the case might be. Um, I'm okay with that as long as they don't abuse it, right? And so then 
they're starting a direct connection. And I think um, email marketing has been big for a long time, um, but there's other ways to actually communicate with those customers directly on the devices that they're carrying around in their pocket. And no, I don't, I don't think that we're all gonna have um, Groupon or DoorDash or Thumbtack type of apps, but <clears throat> you can get the same benefit of those just by collecting some basic customer information and sending them offers once in a while. Um, and I'm not saying offers every week, but offers once in a while. And so that actually, you can build upon that relationship. You can get more feedback from them. You can ask them questions over time. You can nurture those relationships. So when they are buying, when I'm, happy, when I'm hungry for pizza again, or when I need a solar system, or when I need to get my oil changed, or when I need to get my um, tires rotated, whatever it is, um, those are all opportunities where um, if the brand were, were utilizing modern technology that e-commerce companies and these big marketplaces and online companies use every single day, utilize those same technologies, but bring it back to the physical world. And so we're thinking about physical world to online back to physical world because that's where 80% of our transactions are. <clears throat> Just three or four years ago, it was 90%, and then it went to 85%. Still 80% of all of our transactions are local. <clears throat> and so you have that opportunity to build a direct relationship with a customer. We don't do anything with e-commerce, so, and we're just really in the in the local space. Um, but I even think about all these brands that are selling stuff, and Amazon is bringing it to my house. That's an opportunity for for a company to build a, a direct relationship with a customer one way or another. Or when the pizza guy brings me my pizza, or when the DoorDash guy brings me my sushi, those are all opportunities for you as a a brand use a company to take advantage of that. So how we grow our customer base is not something new, something that is unproven, something that has not been tried, something that is coming five years in the future. How we grow our customer base, how we grow our revenue, how we grow our relationship with the customer starts today and it's looking around what's, what's right here in front of us. Where can I where can I interact? To, where can I interact today? And <clears throat> I was just walking down the street, and um, there was a QR code painted on a sidewalk, um, of all places, and um, trying to get people to go run, right? And so, whatever it is, I mean, <clears throat> there's opportunities in the physical world every single day to do things that. Um, that don't take any extra, really any extra time, really a lot of any extra effort. It's just implementing new process. And so um, I know we talk about this a lot and we actually love it, but um, without some type of connection with that customer, without some connection with that, that consumer, um, your chance of getting revenue is zero. Um, do I want a chance to get some revenue? Do I want some chance of getting, um, building my business? Do I want some chance of, of doing business with this customer in the future <clears throat> when they're ready? Um, absolutely. And so take advantage of the opportunity that you have when they're in your physical world, when they're in your physical presence, because that's where it's at. That's how big brands grow is they interact with us. Whether we like it or not, big brands are interacting with us all the time. They're educating us on their products. They're um, advertising to us. They're in our in our uh, virtual and physical world. They're emailing us. They're putting themselves in front of us on and the videos that we're watching and the um, the places that we're networking with family and friends. All businesses don't have that ability from a, it's too costly a lot of times. And so take advantage of what we do have and connect with those people that are closest to us. And so um, go out and have a great day. Um, if we can actually help you, there's a, there's a link there below that you can click on, get connected with our team. Um, if you just need to have some questions, um, you can also um, shoot us a, a call us, text us, or 
email us, um, go to our website, www.freshlime.com, and we look forward to talking to you again soon. Thanks.